Thanks for joining today's video, where here we have a math problem that we're going to work through together. And the problem is 6 plus 12 being divided by 12 parentheses 5 times 2 and parentheses. So when solving problems like this, it might look simple because you think, well, I could just work from left to right and add 6 plus 12 and then keep working through that and I'm going to get the correct answer. But that would not be the case because you need to follow the order of operations with problems like this. Anytime that you have a problem that has multiple operations within the problem, you need to make sure that you're following the order of operations. And over on the left hand side here, we can see the acronym PEMDAS, which stands for the order of priorities when solving problems just like this. The P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses, so our first priority is to solve for anything within parentheses. So first, we're going to multiply 5 times 2, which we know gives us 10, and then that 10 is within parentheses, and then we're going to bring down the rest of this problem. So we have 6 plus 12 being divided by 12. So now we're going to move on to our next priority of E, which stands for exponents, because we don't have anything left to solve within parentheses, and we don't have any exponents in this problem, so we're going to move on to our next priority of multiplying or dividing. And when we have a problem like this that has both multiplication and division, since they're the same priority, we're going to solve from left to right. So first, we're going to divide 12 by 12, which we know gives us 1, and then we're going to bring down the rest of this problem. So we have 6 plus 1, parentheses, 10, and parentheses. So we still have some multiplication here, so we're still within the priority of multiplying or dividing. And here, since our 1 is directly beside a parentheses without any operation between, that means that we're going to be multiplying. So we're going to be multiplying 1 times 10, which we know is going to give us 10, and then we're going to bring down our 6 plus 10. So now we're going to add 6 plus 10, which we know is going to give us 16, so that means that our answer is B, 16. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.